What's up guys? It's shoot day. She picks a perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the move for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They wanna knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. Straight to the stage, they love me. love me. I understand they hungry, but please don't hate. That's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking, moving. I've been popping in my city. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jayla Corian. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload from me. I'm super excited about today's vlog. One, because oh my god, last week my mood was just not there. Like I was kind of down. I canceled my trip to Miami. I was supposed to be in Miami. I was supposed to go to New York. I just canceled it, scheduled myself a spa, um, and just stayed home the whole weekend. Like, I was so emotional last week. I don't know why I was so emotional. Um, but I am in good spirits now. As you guys said, I got my nails done. Okay, my hair. My hair is looking good. I'm feeling good. So today's video is sponsored by the Later app and Later helps me schedule out all of my social media content after I execute the photos. However, uh, before executing the photos, I have to pick out the location, pick out the outfit, know what concept I'm going for. If you so this is how I've been using later. I'll upload my photos and then visually move them around to see how they'll look on my Instagram. From there, later we'll put it on my calendar and I can then move around the dates and times that my photos are going to be uploaded. Now, when I go in, I'm able to put my caption in and add any tags that I have on the photo. Also, you're able to have a first comment. Now, what I like about the first comment is that you can go into hashtag suggestions and later we'll let you type in different things and see what other hashtags will come up. Now, the point of using hashtags is to get your photos to reach more, more people to see them. You can see how many people posted these hashtags and the percentage. So this is a feature that I absolutely love when planning out my social media content. And then I will press auto push and then this will make my photos go live without me having to actually do each photo. I love it. So if you're interested in using Later for your social media scheduling, I have a code JAYLA2020 that you can use because guess what? You want to be making sure that you have the best hashtags on your photos. You want to plan out your content. You want to be strategic with your content. You don't want to just take a photo and then post it. You want to make sure that you're doing your best because we're looking to grow on social media, right? That's what I would think that you're looking to do. So I'm going to have the Later app in the description box. You guys can click it. And we are about to get into the behind the scenes. I rented out this cute Airbnb for these photos. This is kind of how my shoot day goes. And then I got to think about hair. Last minute, I was like, oh, I want a bob. So I had to have a hairstylist come and cut me a, cut me a good bob. So <laughs> this was my shoot day. Let's go. Good morning, guys. Today is shoot day. I'm about to go downstairs and get my packages um, of the things that I'm shooting today. So I'm super excited to see what the new releases of the pieces that I'll be shooting. And everything's confirmed with the Airbnb. I'm super excited to shoot there. Um, I woke up this morning, did my face routine because when I'm shooting, I'm wearing a lot of makeup. And I do have like a few little breakouts that want to leave a little scar so i did my face routine i'm feeling really pumped about today so yeah let me go downstairs and get the package and also guys when i am shooting lingerie i feel like i always want to have a bob in so i think that i'm going to have a hairstylist come over and then cut me a bob because i feel like just with the look i don't know i don't know sometimes i'm feeling the long hair and then sometimes i want a bob long hair bob Long, I've switched between long hair and bob all the time, so yeah. Let's go get these packages. Okay, guys, I want to come back on here really quick before I continue getting ready for the photo shoot. Today is my planning day, and my planning days, I'm normally like in bed, relaxed, like really chill. And in my planning days, I'm making sure that I organize my schedule. I know what's coming up, um, what projects that I'm working on, because with so many projects, I can get kind of overwhelmed. Um, and with every project, um, the deliverables and what I have to do is completely different. So I have to have planning days, and then I also have to block out days where I am not doing anything social media related because um, it is such thing as creative block as a creative when you're just like, oh my God, I don't know what to create. Oh my God, 
should I do it this way? Should I do it that way? Or like, oh, I don't feel like doing my makeup today. Oh, I don't feel like recording today. Like those days are real. So you want to make sure that you're like, you know, giving yourself the time you need so that you can be creative and put out the best content that you can. A new thing in my business now is having a full team. I am so used to doing everything by myself that um, delegating is actually a really hard task for me to do. I'm just so used to doing everything myself and um, working in my own mind and doing things when I'm going to do them and then having to communicate and delegate things has been something that's totally new but having a team has made my life so much easier. Like honestly when you think about it and everything that I was doing in my business all by myself I really think I'm a crazy person like I'm one person I'm the talent I'm doing the photo shoots I'm creating the content and then also answering the emails uh, reading over the contracts uh, communicating meetings new meetings events like all of these things can be a lot and then also planning out my content and planning out what I want to do or what type of videos I want to do like all of that takes time and I have the same 24 hours as everyone else so um, having a team and delegating has been the biggest thing, like the biggest help, like oh my god. I have been trying to have a team for years, trying to build this team, like what does that look like? And I am finally at the point where I have people in my business that do support me and it feels really good on an everyday basis and with us communicating, I have my team meetings, it feels really good. Um, the first people that you hire may not be the people for you. Um, but I think that with every experience, learn from it and um, learn humans and their personality types and who do you feel like would be right for you. And like I said, like if you implement somebody in your business and it's not the right fit, don't close yourself off to be like, okay, oh my God, I just can never have a team. Definitely keep, you know, pushing forward, keep trying to build out that team because having a team <sighs> has been a lifesaver honestly true all right so this is the last thing that i'm gonna say because my hairstyles will be here in the next clip and i'm gonna be cut into a nice little bob um no matter where you're at in your journey on social media in your journey on entrepreneurship don't give up um the moment that you give up might be the point where you're about to turn a corner you're about to get to the next level so never give up no matter what and that has been you know my what i've lived by throughout my whole journey and my journey has been 10 years long baby but look at us now so let's go ahead and get ready for the photo shoot get our hair cut our hair slayed let's go My photo shoot is in like an hour. We are here looking at all the new Savage Expensies that just came in because I have a shoot and like planning out some of the looks. And then we are about to head to the location that the shoot's at. And I'm super excited because I have. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's cute. No, you're fine. Did you have. Um, did I see something like this already? You have a corset like this. Oh, yeah. But this is cute. I like the little dip. Oh, oh I like the dip. Right here. These are really cute. I've, I think I've had this style before. So I'm saying that. No, that's the fishnet look. Oh, yeah. No, look mm -hmm. super. Oh, yeah, that's the fishnet. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, same thing. <gasps> that's so cute. Well, it could be that, or, or it could be, I think it's this one with the gold. Because it has the gold. Uh, yeah, the gold it. wiring. Oh, and the, it's let me this see. type. You think? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Now I love it. Well, right, they are interchangeable, but yeah, I think they this, can both too. I think this is. Oh, let me see. I like this. Okay. Well, Just got all, my hair finished. Did I come back on really, here and say? Honestly, it might go with this. Oh yes, it goes with that. This. This is the, the I think, I think they're all in it. Like it all has I mean, right, they all have that imitation yeah. vibe, but it just depends on what looks best when trying on. But yeah. That's kid set. Let me see. You look good on you. <laughs> 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 oh, no, good on you. And then something can go with this. 
They could be one of the black lips underneath. And you know, I found that. Oh, one. I see that. I found the rhinestone. Mm -hmm. Right now, I am about to warm up some food because I haven't ate all day and it's like 3.30. But that's how busy today has been. I went to this like restaurant that, you know the like steak restaurants that like keep bringing the meat out? I'm sorry guys. Um, I didn't even catch that. Um, you know the ones that keep bringing the meat out. So I went to one of those and I got like the seafood tower last night. It was really, really good. It is dinner time. I'm about to go out for food. So I'm super excited. My tummy, I need some food. Let me show you guys my outfit really quick. Okay, back up Harlem, back up. Sorry Harlem, sorry Harlem. Okay, so yeah, I got, um, I have on the matching um, YSL purse to the YSL shoes. They go with freaking everything, so. Well, everything if you like wearing black. So as you guys see, have on this black sheer top. And this is just like a top that's sheer that I was like, oh, this would go super cute with my black stuff to like throw something on top. Black denim from Zara. Been loving the Zara bottoms. Um, YSL heel. I want these other YSL in the boot form because I absolutely love these. And they're actually not not comfortable. So really like these. And that's my look for tonight. I'm with the gang, I'm with the mob, what did you thinking? <laughs> okay, of course, Trey in the building, always in the know. cut. I mean, you know, even if he's not present, he here. <laughs> hey y'all, uh, miss y'all. Okay, so we're heading out again. Okay, ready for dinner. Mm -hmm. things left over that I was just gonna warm up and eat real quick because then I gotta head out of here so that's mostly my life I reach into the fridge and whatever I, I normally eat out at night whatever I eat out I probably eat it the next day and then we just work it oh I got this steak this is like dang I can't remember the name of the steak hey Trey what was the name of the steak we had last night? Um, Wagua. Wagu. Wagu. This is Wagu steak. It's supposed to be like the Wagu. most. Wagu. It's like Japan, right? Yeah. Something she like that. Okay, so Asian bougie. To be culturally <laughs> correct, because we don't know. But we don't know. It's but. like really tender, tender and gr grass that the cows are like you know, meticulously cows. grown like they don't let them move at all because they don't want their muscles to like get firm at all like they don't they just feed them the best food and grass and just let them get fat and not move basically and it creates the most tender cut of steak ever mm -hmm. Good to see you. Good to see you. So yeah, I need a piece. It's really good. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's shoot day. Come on in. Take a look around. It's super cute in here. I'm super excited to be shooting in here today because we're shooting Savage X Fenty. And I thought it was super cute and super playful. I'm always looking for places that's like a set and like just super cute. So. This is a content day for me. Let's take a look at, I, but what really sold me was these clouds. So I got these pieces in and I was like, oh, I need a place with like blue in it and pink in it. So, oh, look at these clouds. I'm gonna have to go get changed. The clouds are so cute. They have their cute little props. <laughs> and then in here is like pink. Oh, we have to turn on, are they dimmable? Oh, let's stand. 
we have to like turn on the lights, but it's super freaking cute. This is one of the bathrooms in the pink room. All these lights, super cute in here. It was all a dream. Living room, super cute. Dining room, things here, but the kitchen is blue and pink. And then this room. This is another room that sold me completely. Look at those clouds. Ah! Love it. Oh, what is this? Go in that room, too. Oh, clouds in the back. Okay, this is gonna be the room. We're gonna get some shots. I can't, let me take off my shoes. I'm really excited for the blue looks. The I'm blue looks are gonna be blue. bomb. I'm kinda like blue first. <laughs> blue me first. Oh. It's giving Drake, nothing was the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Super cute. Let me get changed, guys. Hi. Hi, what's your name? I'm Jordan Ari. Yes, Jordan, this is our amazing photographer yes. on set today. I'm excited that you're here. Some black girl magic. Yes. <laughs> All right, bye. Go get changed. Hey, yes. Oh, we got the shots. We got the shots. This jumpsuit is super cute. Super cute pajamas. So if you want to look cute for you. Wait, these are pajamas? Pajamas, girl. They're pajamas? Yes. They're cute. Right? Oh, I said, I'm like, where this to, um, oh, go to some <laughs> oh. I'm not about to play with you. Oh, yeah. Um, I, and I do know, like, I'm designing a new website, so I have to do okay. some actual studio shots. Oh, yeah. And coming that's, up. Like, yeah, that's my thing. All right, guys, so that was my shoot day. That is what shoot day looks like for me. Uh, do that times about three or four more times a month for my social media content, depending on what brands I'm working with or what type of photos that I have going out on Instagram. A lot of times I like to batch all of my photos, like, in one day and just knock them out but still i would say i'm shooting at least two to six times a month like realistically um it's definitely something that i love doing this is honestly just one type of day i have though like i have my shoot days i have my planning days i have my video recording days i have my team meeting days so i have a few different types of days that i have as an influencer entrepreneur and now i have um two days that I am off work during the week. I feel like that I am someone that just keeps on working, keeps on going, and then I have this long to-do list and I'm like always in go. I know some people are like, Jayla, what are you always doing? Working, uh, hello. <laughs> I'm always working, coming up with concepts, coming up with the plan, making sure the plan, execute the plan, emails, everything else in the world, girl. Um, but I now am prioritizing, you know, my, mental and my personal health and my personal life so i now have two days that i am specifically just off work i do not have any social media stuff planned like you guys can only imagine how social media consumes my life like i mean i've been doing it for so long and now i'm at the point where you know i value my personal time and like myself and like what jayla really wants to do <laughs> Um, so although I do have a passion for social media, I'm now exploring other things like in my personal life. So I have two days off, which I'm super excited. Tomorrow, I am off work. I literally only have a team meeting at two o'clock, but your girl is off work. Do you guys see how excited I am about these two days that I've dedicated to being off work? Now, I ain't gonna lie. I just implemented this like a week ago, so I pretty sure i'm probably gonna work on something tomorrow and i'm not supposed to but it's gonna be a light day for myself so i'm super excited about my new schedule that i'm about to have and that i'm trying to be consistent with i'm like back in the gym my place is being organized i will have an organizing vlog coming soon i'm feeling my i'm feeling good okay i'm feeling good i don't like to come on youtube unless i'm feeling good and i can give you guys good energy i i'm not with negative energy i'm not with negative stuff i don't like that that's not what my life is about you know i like positive energy um i do miss you guys i plan on posting more on this channel letting you guys into my life more i just had to get 
situated here and you know get on a little routine you know i needed a little routine i was feeling like mm, what's going on so i'm feeling better as you guys can see <laughs> you see the smile you see the smile so <laughs> Now I'm just being goofy. I'm about to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. The Airbnb was so freaking cute. I'll make sure to link it in the description box if you guys were in interested in the Airbnb. Um, and yeah, I am now sourcing more photographers, like trying to work with as many photographers as possible to just fill out, you know, the photographers in my new area in Atlanta and then also new locations. Like I have to source new locations. I was doing this when I lived in New York and now here in Atlanta, I'm doing the same thing. So that's what shoot days look like behind the scenes. Like when a photo comes out on Instagram, just know I, we had a whole shoot. We had to get the right shot. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.